Hello and welcome to The Point from MSI Services. This week we'll look at some tips for more effective bookmarking. If you've already read the text of The Point for this week, you'll know that we looked at three of the best bookmarking tips. The first tip was to use the favorites bar. Since no one wants to hunt for a frequently used bookmark, the primary advantage to using the favorites bar is that, you, that, is that it places your bookmarks in an easily accessible area. So let's look at using the favorites bar in several common browsers. In Internet Explorer, simply browse to the site you wish to bookmark and select the Add to Favorites Bar button on the left side of the Favorites Bar. Let's look at that in action. I'll browse to Google.com and click the Add to Favorites Bar right in the Bookmarks Bar. You can see a link to Google has appeared right here on the bar. If this Favorites Bar is not visible on your desktop, right click here and select Favorites Bar. As you can see, that adds or removes the favorites bar from the screen. The process is a little bit different in Mozilla Firefox if that's the browser that you use, so we'll show that as well. First, open up Mozilla Firefox, browse to the site you wish to bookmark, google.com again, and click the star on the right side of the address bar up here two times. The first time the bookmark will be created in the generic bookmarks folder and that's why the star has turned gold. However, if you click it a second time, it'll let you edit the bookmark that has just been created. We want to change it so that it's located in the bookmarks toolbar. Then click done. You can see the Google link has appeared right here on the toolbar. In Google Chrome, if that's the default browser you're actually using, you just browse to the website you want to bookmark and click the star again. This time you only have to click once. The bookmark will automatically be created, but the edit screen has art has just pops up immediately. And by default, Google will, uh, Chrome will create these bookmarks right in the bookmarks bar. Click done, and now we can access the link here. If you continue to bookmark in this way, eventually your bookmarks or favorites bar will fill up, which brings us to the second tip using bookmark folders on the favorites bar to group similar links. To create a folder in Internet Explorer, press Alt-C to open the Favorites Center, right-click the Favorites Bar folder, and then select Create New Folder. First press Alt-C, right-click the Favorites Bar folder, select Create New Folder, and type the name of the folder you want to create. You can see a new test folder has appeared right here. Links can be added to the folder by first bookmarking as described in tip 1 and then dragging and dropping the newly created link into the appropriate folder. Let's try this with a few sites of my own that fall into the tech category. First, I'm going to rename my folder to tech. Then I have a few tabs here already with some tech websites open. First, I'll bookmark these sites using the process described above. Click the link here we have a link to that site. Click here for the second site. Close that tab. Click here for the third site. Close that tab and click here for the final site. All of those tabs that I had open are now bookmarks here on the bookmark bar. As I said before, to add them to the tech folder, simply drag and drop. The process is very similar in Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. For Google Chrome, uh, for Mozilla Firefox, simply right-click the bookmarks bar itself and select New Folder. Type the name and click Add. Now we can drag and drop as before right into the folder. For Google Chrome, simply right click the bookmarks bar and select Add Folder. And click OK. And drag and drop the links as in the other browsers. And there we have a folder that contains the links that we wanted in all three browsers. Now, just for a moment, imagine that you've entered the office and plan on spending a few morning hours conducting mar market research through the Internet. 
You've already compiled a list of competitors' websites in a bookmark folder per the above tips, but the list is lengthy and you want to open every link at once in separate tabs. However, you don't want to waste time manually opening a new tab for each link. This predicament leads to the third tip, which is how to simultaneously open all of the links contained in a bookmark folder. In Internet Explorer, simply right-click the folder you wish to open and then select Open in Tab Group. Internet Explorer will right-click the folder and select Open in Tab Group. All of the links that we created in that folder have now opened in separate tabs. For Firefox, right click the folder you wish to open and select Open All in Tabs. So it's very similar in Firefox. And finally, for Google Chrome, right click the folder and select Open All Bookmarks. You can also quickly accomplish the same thing in all three browsers by clicking the folder with the middle mouse button. The middle mouse button is the click you get by pressing down on the scroll wheel. With that, we reach the conclusion of this week's issue of The Point. My name is Phil, writer and narrator of The Point. If you like what you've seen and want to receive The Point on a regular basis, please send a quick message to me at pbeach, that's P-B-E-A-C-H, at msiservices.com. You can find previous issues of The Point on our website blog by clicking the Point Online link on the right. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great week.